Hey there, I the Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time I'm reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 5, Episode 1, Domina Profundus. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Also, I didn't... I, I completely missed that the last, the previous episode was the season finale, season 4 finale. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of caught off guard looking now and seeing that this is Season 5, Episode 1. Um, so yeah, the... Season finale for season four. I didn't even talk about because I didn't realize it was a season finale. But real quick, it was uh, it was good. Uh, definitely more of a building up to something of uh, finale, not a big bombastic finale. But that's completely fine. I'm not. I don't expect those all the time. Um, but I'm looking forward now to what this new season entails. Uh, I'm going to guess we're gonna see possibly a time skip. Maybe not a big one like the previous for the season three, I think it was, where it was, you know, a couple years or a few years later. Uh, but I'm going to guess we're going to skip forward maybe a couple months or a few months or something like that, or maybe not at all. I don't know. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. I wonder, is there going to be any changes in the animation or no? The water looks smoother. Hey, Zubaya. Also, interesting building. Looks like a clamshell. Okay, so are we picking up right off where we left off? No. Okay, so this is different. It's just the four of you. There's no Calamarela. And you're off to the ocean. Is this to do with... I just blanked out his name. Erebos. <laughs> there we go. Is it a casket or a chest? Oh, it's a gem. Ocean gem? Crystal? You know what I think of when I see this is the, uh, oh my god, it's the Pokemon 2000 movie with, like, Lugia and, like, the, the Articuno and Moltres and Zapdos. It makes me, it, this reminds me of that with that, like, the, I don't think it was a stone, though. But it kind of, with the storm and everything and them having to put something back or whatever, it reminds me of that. Wait, are we gonna get to see an ocean dragon, maybe? <laughs> I would love to see more of these, like, arch dragons. Is it powering the building? Are you calling forth, like, the ocean arch dragon or something? Of course. Okay, anything different about the opening? Is it still gonna be Viren? Okay, it's still Viren. It'd be funny if it was Claudia that picked him up instead. <laughs> I'd be like, that'd be interesting. Okay, it's not. It's still... There hmm. Okay, so the opening hasn't changed. Alright, so what has happened since we last left off with the crew? Oh, so this book is the ocean. Okay, makes sense. That's why we began with them being in the ocean and stuff. I miss you so much. <laughs> They've definitely got to find a way to save them or get them out. Just sitting here talking to money. Nothing to worry about. You're not Scrooge McDuck, okay? You don't talk to your money. Why are you keeping this a secret, though? Who are you just talking to? Uh, money. Uh, Bait. Bait? Uh. So did you just make bait a sacred promise? He could see, he could hear her that well through the door. Oh my god! I know we're supposed to be waiting for Ezra to return from his. Also, nice, uh, nice way of avoiding the question. He just completely just goes on about something else. <laughs> or why the tides their time do keep. To love is simply to know this: the tides are true, as the ocean is deep. Nice poem. To sea shanties. Sea shanties. Are we gonna get one? I'm trying to get myself in a place where I can connect with the ocean, Arcanum. You could take a bath. <laughs> a bath? But yes. Why did he react like that? That was almost like a shy, bashful response. Or something. I don't know. That felt like... You could take a bath. Also, it's kind of a... But the bath is fresh water, not salt water. I feel like he would need to go to the ocean. <laughs> Also, yeah, why did he react like that? <laughs> was he thinking of, like, not something dirty, but, like, just, like, I don't know. You know, take a bath, you know, getting naked. <laughs> it's kind of... 
<laughs> I I'm sure it's something innocent, but it just feels like that. How do you kill a Star Touch elf? I mean, yeah. At least she's thinking far ahead with that instead of getting caught up in the we must catch up to them. Never thinking of, well, what if they do get there before us and release him? Smart, yeah. Have a backup plan in case he does get out. And there's gotta be a way to kill him. I can't see him being unkillable. Mm. Not looking that good. We haven't You're dead sick, Claudia. We shouldn't move him until he feels better. Yeah. Well, he's not gonna feel better if he's dead. Again. You know, you think that if dark magic does this to a person, they might not do it. <laughs> is he gonna, is Terry gonna slowly over time gonna be like against dark magic? It only happens the first time you use dark magic. You sure about that? I don't think that big streak of white in your hair is uh, a one time only. This is the first time he used it since coming back to life. <sighs> oh, he's sick from the dark magic. Okay. Didn't I say before that I wonder if him dying, like, refreshed that, or not refreshed, but got rid of the dark, like, influence from the dark magic on him? Because, you know, he technically died, so it's like a... Re I guess the best way in terms of, or best term is, it was a refresh. Clean slate? Gee, I haven't been back here since season one. Here we go, Erebus. Up oh, there goes the disappearance of the name. This is where you need a phone and you can just take a quick shot, like a photo of it. Maybe if I just peek. I think it's smarter than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice try. It's made of tin. It belongs to Queen Janai now. Mm, I wouldn't exactly take that from him. And I I feel like Janai wouldn't let that. I feel like Janai wouldn't have taken it. Callum? Are you sneaking in? Are you trying to? Why? I feel like you're checking to see if he's in there so you could do something. Are oh, you gonna go into the catacombs or basement? I'm going to find out what happened to you. Oh, are you gonna go to the prison? <clears throat> that secret prison. Did they nail it? <laughs> it's nailed shut. Why they do that? Nice try, Sella. Rayla, what are you doing in here? Oh, me? Yes, you. Who else would I be talking to? Surely, certainly not Stella. Also, last time I checked, I did say Rayla. Uh, Rayla. I was looking for you, uh, Callum. Behind the but you pain? weren't here, so we were just snooping, admiring this painting of the kid. You are so not being sus. <laughs> holding the sheep. Even Stella's freaking holding her hand. <laughs> He's got the key. Okay, please. How long is she gonna keep this a secret from him? I feel like if she just came out to him and said, I, I got my parents back and Runan, and they're stuck on these coins. You are a mage, so maybe you could help. Like, wh why is she doing this, like, secret? I'm gonna do it myself again. And, like, I feel like, you know, work as a team. Uh, have we not learned from that? Yeah, like, especially with this. This isn't, this isn't, like, some dangerous mission. It's just figuring out how to release your parents and Runan. Amazing idea. I'll try it. Oh, did she grab the key? Hmm. Wow. The smile and wave, boys. <laughs> or girls, in this case. They weren't very in there, were they? Where does this portal of yours lead to? It's like, it's, is it like freaking Mary Poppins' bag, but it's Mary Poppins' portal? There is no synonym for cinnamon. What there are you is no synonym for cinnamon. There is no synonym. Oh, she's doing her catchphrase to calm down. There are indeed 17 words that are specific synonyms for cinnamon. Ah, uh, why are you telling me this? This doesn't help me at all. Are you trying to break my calming mantra? <laughs> it's the one 
thing I have. Terry, don't take this from me. <laughs> Dark magic, most likely. Evil jar of eyeballs. Evil, Evil jar, jar of fingernails. fingernails. Oh. Ew! Fingernails are bad enough, but toenails? Ew. Evil also, who the hell's toenails is that? That's like a freaking claw. Evil jar of Mystery fluid? Peanut butter? I guess dark me just gets snacky too. Why do you think it's peanut butter? Don't lick it! You don't know if it's peanut butter or not. Okay, I guess it's peanut butter. Another koi? Who are you? You're here. Who are you? I don't think we've seen him before. Human. But who are you? Oh, hi. You move. Like a creepy painting. Oh, there went the peanut butter. Isn't that the spider we saw in episode, uh, not episode, uh, season one that Claudia squished or something? I feel like we've seen the spiders before. I feel like Claudia's used them. Also, why didn't no one investigate all this? Like, oh, Renan's boat, yeah. Why are you crying? You sound like you're upset. Uh, okay, like, I get it. It's his bow, so it's kind of, like, sad to see it, see it without him. But at the same time, I'd be happy. Like, oh my god, I thought this was lost kind of thing. Flashback. Oh, hi, mom and dad. It's yours now. I love you, and I haven't forgotten about you. I never will. It'd be funny if she turned around and Calum was just standing there. <laughs> or it could be just guards. Uh oh. Well, I don't, I don't think Ezra and Calum are going to go through this, so she's definitely not going to be put, she's not going to be, like, full-on arrested, for long at least. Especially, she's going to have to come out and say what she was doing down there. Soon you'll be feeling like a tree in the springtime. Relieved. At first I thought he was being genuine with the relieved, but then I got the pun. Ta -da! What are those? You're not going to look at them? Are they leaves? What are you doing? Aromatherapy. Smell it. Breathe it. Focus on being present and mindful. You're sprinkling crushed leaves on my head. They're not even crushed. They're just normal. Live in this moment. Not just any pebbles. Fruity pebbles? They are smooth. Right? Why do I feel like that's a... Uh, not ASMR, but it's to do with touch. I forgot what they call it. Where it's very like satisfying to touch something that's like very smooth or it's kind of like, you know what reminds me of? It reminds me of a slime. Like th those who are really into slime, that they find slime like really calming, relaxing, or like therapeutic. Kind of reminds me of that. Bubble puppies. I Bubble think you'll puppies. find this oddly related. Oh my God, they're freaking based off of the bubble wrap. That's, that's, that's cute. I like that idea. It's <laughs> that's unique design. Uh, yeah. It's a giant burr! Adora burr! I an Adora burr? Oh my god. It's an Adora purr. Come on. I want... Raven Master? Crow Master? Oh, it's gonna be about Rayla. Bad news? Really? It's your elf friend. She's in trouble. What? What happened to Rayla? Shh! <laughs> I love how he's been all quiet. It's just, what? What happened to Rayla? The elf stole it. Yeah, this is why I was saying just come out and be open. But it's this is not some like really secret dire you'll die if I tell you mission. This is literally just like you're keeping a secret from him again. And this is not even as bad as before. If you just told him, he would have gladly given you the key and said, yeah, go ahead. Have access to the thing. He, like, what? Mm, Rayla, I'm gonna... I love you, but I wanna pinch you. She broke into the sealed dark magic chambers beneath the castle. We caught her when she emerged. For what reason? And she was hiding a weapon. 
So what? She always is. Not just she oh, what? She always is. Wait. What? See, and this is what happens when you don't explain stuff and just say, you know what? I found this in the uh, the, the the high mage's uh, Viren's office when it, I found his my parents' coin and Rudan's coin. <clears throat> Misunderstanding like trope, I None of this matters. The misunderstanding trope I like to an extent, but sometimes it gets so annoying. <laughs> Especially over stuff like this where if you just told him. If she didn't tell me, she has a good reason. Are you showing you trust her? I know this. The tides are true as the ocean is deep. What does that mean, Prince Callum? It means- I love how he's literally talking to Rayla's- like, this is Rayla's V8. <laughs> he's talking to technically, well- It's kind of- it's just funny. I trust her. Unconditionally. Just like I love her. Let her go. Now. Okay, now this is terror. See, okay. Character growth. I, pre I I love that. Okay, so it's not just the... Oh my god, if they had gone the route of of Callum like actually believing her and going, how could you keep this from me? And all of a sudden, I would have been so like... But I'm glad it's a chance to, for him to show that he's grown as the character and or that their relationship has grown. That he now trusts her and knows that she had no will, ill intention with the bow and everything. So, yay! Character growth! Woo! Love to see it. Oh. It's like I could have escaped any time. Somehow when I pet this sweet little guy, I just freaking the moth uh Mr. Cuddle, I forgot what his name is, but he like copies her. You no, know, everything's going to be fine. Oh, are you okay? I'm just like twitch tweaked sure out there. Felt this relaxed in my entire life. Something's wrong with your moth guy. Like a puddle or... of chill. I don't think Mr. Puffle, whatever his name is. Wow, you really do sound like Golem, don't you? No, I meant what I said. You don't need to explain or justify anything to me. You can tell me when you're ready. Yay! Oh, Growth! Well, hopefully soon. I mean, I am... Curious. Yeah, I was gonna say curiosity. Boundaries, trust? <laughs> Boundaries and trust. Okay, health, healthy, love to see a healthy relationship. Luxoria calls their library the Great Bookery? It actually makes more sense than library. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, it kind of does. Point, <laughs> point taken. <laughs> Aw, what did I say? Bait was going to grow, let, Stella was going to grow on Bait, and then he was going to let her sleep with him, and look at the two of them. <laughs> Bay, you little softy. Aw. <laughs> So what are you guys doing? I heard a sound. Ocean dragon? Ocean dragon? Ocean... <gasps> Ocean dragon? It's the one that I really love the design. Please tell me it is. Please, 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 please. You are so pretty. Oh, I love your design. Wait, is there more than one of you? Okay, no, it's not. What's your voice? What's your voice? What's your voice? Hi. Great Domina Profundus. Oh, so Domina Prof. Okay, I did say the name correctly. Whew. <laughs> but so that's its name. Dom Dominus Profundus? Dom Domina Profundus. I'll just call her Dom. It sounds like her. Never mind, that sounds like I'm calling her Dommy Mom. Dommy Mommy. <laughs> if it's a female, I don't even know if it is or not. Of the ocean. I'll say Dom. I don't I care. You, you don't look very happy. Hey now, that's rude. Who is this child? Oh, you are female. Okay, Dommy Mommy. <laughs> he is a king. And you will treat him as such. Help. Must find his prison. Don't be like Rex. I do not know where it is. Wasn't it, wasn't it already said that Rex is the only one that knew? Or like he had the map or whatever? And that's pretty bad if even the Arch Dragon of the Ocean doesn't know where he is. But I do know what who, who does? It is. 
Oh. You know what it is? Oh, your design. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, and you... Okay, at least they didn't leave it. My god, if they had left us in the cliffhanger with just, like, you you see her in the water, and then it end Oh, I would have... I would have probably crushed a water bottle. <laughs> so I'm so glad they let us at least hear her, her voice and, like, see her before the cliffhanger. I'm going to ignore my cat because she is going to want to climb up on the desk if I if I acknowledge her. So I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to ignore her. I'm ignoring. I want to know who you are. I don't think I've. I don't remember seeing you anywhere. Oh my god, the freaking Mr. Puffle, Mr. Whatever his name is. Oh. So much for ignoring. I guess ignoring didn't work. Yeah. Also, I don't think you guys. I don't think she's been on reaction yet. She's been on my streams, but not on reaction yet. But this is. The new, the new kitty or cat, <laughs> new, new, uh, reaction partner here. Though whether she's a permanent resident or not remains to be seen because, uh, yeah, she, the cat distribution system kind of dropped her in our laps, uh, when we were, my mom and I were heading out of the house and, uh, she was hungry, not starving, but like hungry and thirsty and dirty. So let her into the house and she immediately went up to my room, uh, took that as a sign and then we're just taking care of her and we're giving it like a month to see if missing, you know, flyers or posters pop up or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, try not to get too attached to her before then, just in case her she has owners that want her and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, kind of hard to when you got this face. And she's very schmoozy, as you can see. But are you wanting to stay up here while I talk about this episode or while we, I react to the rest of this episode? Or the credits at least? Okay, you can stay up here. I want a Dorabur that size to hug it. Okay, so you got the map. I was just thinking what the heck that is, but never mind. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, it's uh, Janai's brother's ring. Callum in the bath? Oh, you have tattoo on your... Oh, that's right. Isn't... That's the marking or the uh, sigils or whatever he drew on his arms back in uh, the previous season or something. Was it the previous season? I think it was. When he, um... It's for his, uh... For his arms to turn into wings, I believe. Why do I feel like if Rayla saw this image, she would be like... <laughs> and blush. And of course, we end it with a final drawing of the beautiful, mesmerizing ocean arch dragon. And uh, yeah, still my honestly my favorite design still so far. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Okay. Yeah. So, oh my thought. Oh. And she played. Press the play button. <laughs> anyway, so. My thoughts for this episode, I'm going to try to keep her from stepping on the keyboard because I don't think you're pressing anything that shuts off the recording program. Uh, but anyway, all right. So my thoughts for the episode. Um, not too much happened. It was more of a, what do they call it? I don't know what they call episodes where it's just kind of like, it's not really lore heavy or anything like that. It's more like a progression episode where it's just to move on, move the story forward, I guess you could say. I don't, I don't know if there's an official term for that. I'll just say, yeah, this episode was mainly to move the story along um but it also showed uh it also had the um you know misunderstanding or keep a secret trope whatever what i said but i am so happy they went with that just to show like the character growth for callum and how how he now like trusts don't lay on the keyboard but now how he now uh trusts her and believes in her that she had no like i said she had no bad intentions with what she was doing she wasn't um she, there was no nefarious plot or anything like that he just knows her well enough that's like yeah no you know and then afterwards uh that talk with the you know boundaries you know and trust you know and it's just like oh it's so it's so nice to see like a healthy relationship in a series and not just like not just an animated series but just overall like just just like any series period Okay, you're pushing my mic. But yeah, any series, 
period, because you don't really see that too often. You don't really see like super healthy relationships. You'll, you'll see like good relationships, but not really healthy ones where it's like they get into the boundaries and trust and all those things that, it, you know, a healthy relationship has. Um, so I would say that's one of the reasons why, or one of the main reasons why I would say uh, Raylan is like my, one of my favorite ships ever of any series that I've seen. Um, and I really hope it keeps going this route that it just keeps showing as an ex it, it keeps being an example of a healthy relationship versus i hope we don't fall they don't go into any pitfalls or tropes that just i don't know not ruin it but like, like even the um <laughs> even with how this the not the season but because this is the first episode of the season uh but even with uh the, after the season that had the time skip and everything and how you know they wouldn't like Calum didn't want... Actually, now that I think about it, it's mutual boundaries because Callum didn't want to talk about it yet, about what went on and how he felt, and Rayla respected that um, and waited for him to be ready, which I don't think they still really talked about it fully. It was just kind of like he... Under, he began... He, like, he learned to understand why she did what she did kind of thing, sort of, and then instead of talking about it, they just kind of moved on from it, which... I guess so. I mean, I kind of wish they did have more of a talk on it, but at the same time, it's not needed. Uh, ma'am, you keep getting it. You keep getting fur stuck in the <laughs> microphone. Um, but, uh, and now it's swapped. So now instead of Callum or Rayla being the one to respect boundaries and, like, uh, have trust in him, now it's the flip where he's, she's about to lay on the keyboard. Whereas now she, he's the one showing her, uh, bound, her, giving her bound, respect, God, now he's the one respecting her boundaries and trusting her. So I do love that. Like, that, I'm glad that that thing from before tied into now and helped the relationship grow instead of it just being like something thrown in for drama or angst. Um, not that I'm against drama and angst. I love, I love, I love me some drama and angst, but like, at least this, I love it when it, it assist in the growth of the characters relationship so yeah really really i think that's my favorite part of this episode um is that uh other than the beautiful majestic ocean uh, ocean dragoness uh dom mommy <laughs> or do domina domina prof profundus i think i'll just say i'll just say domina even though yeah um so interesting that she doesn't know where where he's located but she knows what it is so, I wonder if, like, different dragons are going to have pieces of stuff. Or maybe not, because, like, once you know what it is, at least you know what to look for. It's just, what else is there but the location? So, it's not really, not really much else. It's not like, oh, I know, like, a part of the map, and then another dragon knows another part of the map. It's more like, okay, we, we know what it looks like. We're going to know what it is now. Um, so, the only thing left really is maybe the general vicinity? Maybe? I don't know. But, hmm. But, yeah. Honestly, I... Overall, good episode. Like, I... I for the first episode of the season, I like it. Not a lot... Nothing major happened. But, like, it... It was good character growth. Or relation, character slash relationship growth. And it was also, like, good story progression. Um, also... Interesting that Viren is... Viren's as sick as Callum got after Callum used his dark magic. So I wonder if we're going to get, like, not an episode focused on it, but I wonder if it's going to be part of an episode where Viren's going to have that dark version of himself to talk to or whatever. And I wonder if this time Viren's going to, like, reject its offer or something like that. I don't know. Because I, like, ever since I saw, ever since we had Callum talk to his dark self back in, like, I think it was season two or three, I was like, but if this is what Viren saw and what he dealt with, and before, like, originally he accepted it, I wonder if now he's going to reject it. That'd be good character growth if he did that, to show that he's not the same man anymore, because, I mean, he didn't want to... He only used... Like, actually, I forget. What did he use the dark magic for that put him in this state? All I remember is that they turned, like, Terry and Claudia turn around to him being in that state, so I don't think he even needed to. Or was it... I don't think it was even... Like, he was holding the staff. So I don't even think he used dark magic. It's not like they were in trouble and he used it to save them or something like that. It was... 
I just remember them like coming out of the cave, I think, and then turning around and he just stepped out of the cave with the eyes like that. So I don't, I don't really understand it. <clears throat> hmm. I'm sure it's going to explain further in the, in the preceding episodes. So anyway, uh, for the plot, I would say overall for the plot, characters and animation and music. No, actually. Okay. I'm going to say this. Plot was good. Characters were great. Animation was good and music was good. So yeah. Anime characters were the best thing in this episode. Just yeah, um, yeah. Or, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Um, good start to the new season. Um, I know there's I think season six that has come out like in the last month or two. Uh, so I still got a full season after this to watch. So yay. Um, but yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep rain bright. See ya.